Hey everyone, I'm Ray Tu. I'm here to show you a website called HaveIBeenPwned.com, which can be used to identify data breaches associated to an email address. So I'm gonna do a demo and I'll explain what it does. But here, say you are investigating an email, ReTuGill at gmail.com, and we hit enter. We're looking to see if this email is associated to any breaches. You're gonna see if you scroll down, there are several different breaches, and it also gives you a description of the service and the breach um, and that information that may be useful. You'll see that there's also compromised data. It tells you from that breach what was compromised. You can see it's different for all these ones here. There's some overlap and then some additional information. So why would you as an OSINT person want to use the site? Well, it tells you where your target may have had an account or currently has an account. I know that not all OSINT people are able to use breach data, but if you are, uh, it's definitely a great site. So if you wanted to save what you found here, you can use our browser extension called Forensic OSINT. Let me show you how easy it is to use. Um, maybe I want to do a full capture of the page of all the screens. Um, and this, once you're completed with your capture, they'll all go into the case management system that's built within the app. So here, here's Forensic OSINT. I'm gonna click on capture full page. All right, here it is, review current capture in case management system. And I have several, so let's go to data breach. Let's click on that capture. Here we see date and timestamp, hash value. Let's go and make sure we have the entire capture, all the screens, and you see they're all there. And what you can do is scroll over here. You can go through all the images to make sure that's all where you need it to be. And if you want to put any notes here is you can add them right here. So Ritu's uh, data breaches, for example, um, and any other reference to some of these uh, screenshots. So from here, you're going to click on download capture. And we're going to open it up. Here's a zip file. And within that file, you're going to see your capture document. You can print a PDF. Now you have a copy of what you were doing. If you go back to the file, there's also file hashes here as well to go with your file. And you can see other important information like your screen captures within this download as well. All right. Well, again, looking at haveibeenpwned.com, being able to save it using Forensic Ghostin. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching today.